Hello everyone and I'm here to do a quick review for South Africa versus England. So first up, we'll start with the team, the base team and before we do that, ensure you hit the like button for some good luck and tell tell me in the comments who your man of the match for this game is. Now again, this game is going to be played at Bluffington where we saw the pitch was pretty flat out for batting and we also saw a lot of poor bowling, especially from South Africa in that first phase and from England across the depth. So how do we make our best base team? First up, we start with the keeping section. I think Butler and Decock both become obvious choices. Butler is obviously batting much lower, so he becomes a risky leave if you want to try that risk out. Then when you go to the batting here, Jason Roy is someone you can try, but I think he was bowled to very, very poorly, and I don't know if that's going to happen again. So for now, I'm opting away from him. Especially because he's going to be playing high risk shots. So Rassi, David Mala, and David Miller, if he bats first, and Aiden Markram stays in this team. So these are my three fit batters, and David Miller will be the fourth if he bats first. Harry Brook is someone you can try. He should be able to bat well on such a track. Will be interesting to see whether the pitch slows down. Then when we come to the all rounders. Sam was backed well enough and that's going to be important for him especially because he's going to be bowling across death phases. Moin Ali bowled 6-7 overs so he will be important especially with the batting value that he gives you. Wayne Parnell we left in the last game and as expected it was not that great a game for him because there's not much movement here. Very interested to see if he holds his place in the team. In the bowling section I'm going to go with Nokia for sure. Rabada is not in the greatest sort of form but because of the kind of phases he bowls and you have to keep him in your team. Oli Stone looked very very good, he did bowl some poor balls but apart from that I think he looked good and Jofra Archer. Now Jofra and Rabada are two guys who are not in form, those are risks that you can consider taking but for now I am not. Who are the other guys you have to consider? Rashid and Shamzi, these are two guys you have to consider especially when they bowl second because under pressure both these guys get a lot of wickets. So those will be guys for you to consider. Default captaincy choices I think will for me will be Sam and Aiden because Decock and Butler, Decock plays shot after shot which means it makes him risky for you for you to make him your captain. Joss is going to be batting lower which again makes it risky because you don't know if it's a small chase and if he doesn't come off or it's, if it's a really big chase and he has to play a shot against Shamsi which will be tricky especially if the track slows down. Keep a watch out for the toss because at the toss you will get information about the track. If you see that the team that wins the toss is batting first, that's one indication for you. Other indication is if they add extra spin in their team. So these are two indications that you should watch out for. And this is what my team looks like for this game. I'll reveal the final team on the Fantasy Crick Pro Twitter and Telegram channels. Link is in the description. Have a great game and all the good luck to all of you.